I was only 14 at the time, but I told myself if I was good enough, I'd make it anyway, and I did. See, the angle was tight, goalkeeper spills it. Debut goal for Afalayan, the striker who's given his chance. I'm Ola Dapper for Lyon, I'm a footballer. Playing football professionally, especially in this country, is one of the hardest things to do. I mean, as kids, we all dream. As you get older and you start to realise the reality of it, that's when it can change. I went to Chelsea because uh, I was playing in a tournament with my Sunday league team at the time, so I was only eight. A Chelsea scout called Brian Musty spoke to my dad and told my dad to bring me down, and he did. Yeah, my Chelsea age group was very good. There's Tammy Abraham, Dom Solanke, Chris Meppham. We had one of the golden generations. So when I was about 14, the Premier League wanted to get more contact time with the players, which meant for a lot of the lads moving from home, I was a year above in school and I was approaching like my GCSEs about to start doing those. The idea of what the Premier League wanted to do was good, but the execution wasn't the best and my parents saw that so they wanted me to stay because they know that anything can happen in life and I mean I was only 14. I don't think stopping my education or kind of putting it to a side at that time was the best thing so I remember being like, a bit upset about it. I, I remember watching most of my age group winning the UEFA Youth Leagues, the FA Youth Cup at Chelsea. How did you see it? Yeah they went well, six A stars, two A's and a B. So at university, I studied civil engineering. It was really tough, especially balancing it with football. Again, I was just playing for fun while doing my education. And I was thinking about getting a job to help me through uni. At the time, I was speaking to my dad about it. And then the uh, director of football called me in and said, oh, there's a club called Solio Moors who put in a seven day request for you. And that spell at Solio, I'll never forget because it, it was really good for my development. Coming into the January transfer window, I kind of knew there was a bit of a buzz. I was, I think, third top goal scorer in the league, but we were rock bottom at the time. And uh, transfer deadline day, my agent said to me, West Ham are having a meeting about you at nine o'clock. Wait, you mean West Ham are having a meeting about me? He goes, yeah. And then I got a phone call saying, yeah, to drive down to London, uh, West Ham wanted want to do the deal, so it was all in shock. To come that far in a short space of time for me was, was big. Coming from non-league and the part-time football into a full-time setup was really hard for me. I remember I was being on the bench with Declan Rice, Mikel Antonio, Aaron Cresswell and uh, Dex saying to uh, um, Kevin Nolan, oh, is Daffo getting on, is Daffo getting on? The manager ended up calling me over to come on I remember saying this to one of the boys, I was saying, I'm so nervous, <laughs> I'm honestly so nervous. And then I remember seeing uh, Ryan Fredericks run down the right and uh, I, was, I was calling, screaming for the ball and he, had, he decided to have a shot and I thought, oh, let me just follow it in. And the keepers palmed it right out to my path and I just tapped it in and it was one of the best feelings I've ever had. Well, the smile says it all, doesn't it, Seb? Big grin on the youngster's face, he'll enjoy that massive moment for him. At that moment, I was thinking of all the hard work and how far I'd come and things like that, and no, I'll never forget that. I'm 23 now, and I wanted to play regular first-team football, so Bolton Wanderers and the manager, Ian Everett, came and uh, spoke to me, told me about the club and told me about the project and what they wanted to achieve. Once I'd spoken to the manager, it was pretty easy for me to make that decision. If I was to look back at myself when I was younger and if I could give myself any bit of advice, it would be Always just be true to yourself. Remember what got you to where you are. I wasn't a footballer. I haven't got Scooby-Doo, I'd be doing.